they just nicely look at you and be like, hey, you know what? Fuck you, bitch. Hey, yo, what's good, you got? Hey, welcome back to another old video. Bro, have y'all ever? forgot y'all password to the point you felt like you needed to shoot your spouse well i read a story that somebody did get to that point and his name goes by brandon strong and this man brandon strong was nicely on his computer and he was on his unemployment website typing in his unemployment password which he gotten wrong multiple times Bruh. and since he got it wrong multiple times his girlfriend came over to him to try to you know offer guidance to this confused and an unrememberable man but instead of taking his girlfriend guidance the man brandon strong got to the point where he just snapped and grabbed the gun and shot his girlfriend three times in the arm and what's even crazier is that he did that in front of his kid and luckily the girlfriend was able to grab the kid even though she got shot three times in her arm she grabbed their kid and ran out the door like to be honest i give that woman props like no lie i give that woman props because there's some people out there who hey after something happened to them they say hey yo fuck that kid man fuck them kids bro i gotta save my own life all right but she said you know what uh-uh i ain't leaving my child here with this crazy ass dude but if you actually sit there and think about it though imagine that like imagine you nicely trying to come help somebody with something and they just like they they just nicely look at you and be like hey you know what fuck you bitch man you stupid bitch and just they started blowing at you like bro i didn't even do anything like i'm trying to come help you and you come over here shoot me Okay. Like, bro, the man ain't right. He a different breed. He's a menace to society. All right. But the woman did also say that this man was influenced on drug, alcohol, when he did shoot at her. But when she did call the police, the police came. The police asked him to come out. You know, with his hands up, the man peacefully came out, was arrested. But I feel like the funny part and the wild part of this story is that, like my mans you forgot your unemployment password bro come on now how you gonna get your money like bro. dude how you gonna get your money you forgot your un unemployment password and i'm pretty sure like every website has a forgot password so did you forget the password question i know usually like with websites they be like if you forget your password here's a question that you you know you made basically saying like what's your best friend back in the day name or what's your cat or dog name, pet name, whatever. And the man probably forgot that too. He had to forget that as well. My man's probably forgot what his pet name was. But when the police came, they found his girlfriend in the car with blood gushing out of her arm as the bullets went deep into her arm. But after the police had Mr. Strong in custody, he was charged with aggravated assault, felony cruelty, children first degree felony cruelty to children third degree possession of a firearm by a convicted felon reckless conduct and criminal damage like bro you did all of this for a password dog like i can't believe it yo. i can't believe it. the man did it for a password for a password <laughs> Bro, I swear, some people are just dumb as hell. I'm sorry, but they are dumb as hell. But no, I just found this story interesting, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.